Melanoma is one of the most aggressive types of cancer and quickly spreads throughout the body. As CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us, a new treatment uses the patient's own immune system to fight the cancer. After being diagnosed with stage 4 mucosal melanoma, a type different from skin melanoma, Tony English failed every cancer treatment doctors tried. We'd pretty much hit the end of the road for treatment. That was about, we'd done everything that I knew was out there. That's when her oncologist at the Orlando Health Cancer Institute told her about a clinical trial that fights her cancer by transforming cells from her own immune system. They're T cells that had already infiltrated her tumor. And once the tumor is resected, we isolate the T cells, expand it, proliferate it, give additional medications to, to turn it on and make it more active. The engineered cells are then delivered back to the patient in a single infusion. You're taking those T cells and expanding it to basically a clone army. Uh, and, and, the, and the number of cells that we can produce is anywhere from 1 billion to 150 billion. Clinical trials of a so-called TIL therapy for melanoma found tumors shrank or remained stable in four out of five patients and many saw results in just a few weeks. And so this is Miss English's tumor over here uh, on the right lung. Uh, and this is the latest scan right now. You know, you can see like, nothing there. The rest of the lungs look wide open. All that shrunk down within probably the, the first uh, you know, month or two. At that six weeks checkup after the treatment, when I came in the first time and it was already showing a response, and that's when I really felt like I've got a chance at this. Nearly four years later, Tony is cancer-free and making plans for the future. The blip in the radar for us, the short bump in the road for us, was worth the journey because it has given me back the life that I've always dreamed I would have. Now this was a small trial and not all patients responded to the TIL therapy, of course. But the fact that some patients with terminal disease are alive and well months and even years later has prompted researchers to expand into clinical trials for patients with late-stage lung, cervical, and head and neck cancers. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.